That was awesome. <laughs> Intro music. Welcome back to the second half of Westward Signs, episode 14. Before we go on, just let me give a few shout outs. Thank you to Stellar Coffee to uh, for letting us um, record our podcast here. Uh, shout out to the Dragon and Rose for always letting us, you know, play shows there. And uh, Unity Center, you know, go check out their, their shows. You know, there's a lot of local bands that play there. Well, look at their stuff. Yeah, check us out, man. Roswell scene is growing, man. All right, we got uh, Joel, a.k.a. Nope. Super Small Business here, and we're uh, Super Small. talking about crap. It's the TED Radio Hour. <laughs> Dude, I've been listening like to that too much. Of... <laughs> so you're a big conspiracy buff, huh? Somewhat. I listen, and I have an open mind. What's your, uh, what's your favorite conspiracy, man? I don't have favorites, what? but oh, I have oh, oh, things. Which is one of your... Most, uh... What's still picking your brain? That's what it is. <coughs> okay. You usually get past conspiracies, and then ones just sticks with you. Like something's not right on this one. Like UFOs. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's more generalized. But have you guys ever heard of the breakaway think? civilization conspiracy? No, I don't think so. Uh, basically, the idea is that one day rich people said, "Hey, we can hide all our rich ways um... from poor people and make them work for us," and. uh I think that, in a way, that's what's happening. Even, like, the rich people who we see right now, the congressmen and the, the senators and all that, they there's a civilization over well, there them, was, I feel. there was talk yeah. about this giant boat, and they live on it. Like, you know, you'd have to be filthy rich to rent it. Oh, like an actual boat, like in the ocean. Huge, huge. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, for sure. I was like, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Get the Give us America. Here. You, got you, your, you got your Noah's Ark. As yeah, whole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, they, I mean, there's on 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 document. I remember like someone who wasn't really a conspiracy theorist at all, and that's why I take it kind of as like truth. You know what I mean? Like without yeah. having asked, it was like, yeah, this filthy rich guy like bought a retired army, like navy, I guess, because it's ocean. You know, like a big ass boat from the navy. Yeah, stuff for myself. Oh, bought rich discount. bastards. <laughs> yeah. And it was Bill Gates or someone, dude. Someone rich, dude. Yeah. I I believe it, man. I, 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 we always talk about how the rich get rich and the poor get poor. Just, oh, Bill Gates <laughs> seems kind of all right, but he does seem to plan for because yeah, he's got that seed bank that he started. Yeah, he, he does some weird so stuff. Him and his that. wife do a lot. They actually. I wish that I could like all the people that I listen to. Like I listen to to like like I used to listen to Coast to Coast a lot. Yeah. But then there's like Radio 314, like podcasts and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Radio 314 is, sorry, Lana, but it's probably the the least favorite of mine because I listen to like Red Ice Radio and uh, James like Corbett Report shit. and Boiling Frog and stuff like that. Right. Um, like James Corbett really knows his stuff. Like he'll be like, <laughs> you know, like yeah. I like I'm pretty sure he like beat the the United States. In like a law case, yeah. About something. <laughs> I'm not an educated man, though. I wish I could like say facts like that super fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but really, that's all it is. You know, a bunch of facts, and you just throw them at people, and it makes you feel smart. Like bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Well, you were we were talking about the hollow moon earlier. Yes, the hollow we moon theory. That James oh. was talking about that one day too. Yeah, and it, they shot a missile under it. Like, you heard about that? Yeah, right? into the moon. That Didn't was, they say it was kind of like a weird... Everybody expected to either break apart or make a <laughs> dong sound. And they, and they made yeah. a dong sound. They said, no, it, it's, there's changes in gravity, and recently they found like a, a pocket underneath a spot that they didn't even know existed. Because it didn't have a, like crater. Are you or talking something. about the, the infinite tunnels that go on down? They have that picture of the stairway into the tunnel. Well, this is on the moon. Just recently yeah. they said from gravity effects, they said, yeah, there should be a canyon... Inside there, like a pocket of, like set from molten or whatever, so it could be something weird in there. So it's hollow. That's what yeah, you guys are saying. It's not hollow. It's more like, oh, well, it's got. It's made of cheese. It's like cheese. <laughs> it's got here's, holes all here's over. Here's what it. I like about conspiracy. It's that it's not that the moon is hollow. It's that the Earth does not necessarily have an inside the way my textbook told me it did. And it's important to remember that because if I take everything like the textbook says, I'll be like taking a lot of like, well, it's like, like I wasn't like, I'm really into botany and herbalism. Yeah. And like I know back on the East coast, me and Rachel, my wife, we spent like $10 a week on oil and vinegar to put on salads because I just foraged all our food. Right? <laughs> and there's like, you read online and in books, like when people are just like, here's. 
I'm going to take it from this encyclopedia so it's true and I'll write it in my new book. Yeah. And, like, if that's a lie, then they've just reproduced a lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, most people say that in order to eat, like, heart of palm, you have to, like, go climb a palm tree and then take off the heart of palm. So, okay, like, you go up and you take your machete and you climb 40 feet and you, like go past all these prickly shits and you like take out the heart of the palm and you're 40 feet up and you eat it and you get like a little bit of carbohydrates no fat mainly simple sugars and you die of heat starvation <laughs> you know like like you're dead Jeez. like they forget to mention that it's like only edible in the phase of like a sapling so you never have to climb the tree ever <laughs> you know like like if it's not six inches tall to like two feet tall, <laughs> don't do anything with it. Yeah. But all these books are like the only way to. It's oh my palm. god, yeah, that's like a yeah. way of reproducing. Yeah. Like exactly. Like, you no, know, you guys, you're on the wrong thing. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like idiocracy, man. Just making it's people just make the same mistake over yeah. and over. <laughs> it becomes the norm and shit, man. So oh, it's not that the earth. We're planning on this. We're gonna put them on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Rich people. All the stupid people, too. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Put them out On the same boat. <laughs> and they'll turn it into country. a reality TV show. <laughs> yeah. We got these yeah. rich people. Yeah. <laughs> There's what about 300 of them. What would they do <laughs> when they're on a boat? Oh, yeah, but this is talk that's dangerous these days, man. <laughs> we get a shot for that. We have yeah. the men in black come out. Come yeah, by can't be talking about rich way. people, man. YouTube like yeah. YouTube like goes through all their shit. They're like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" I'm not listening. <laughs> That's true. Hi YouTube. <laughs> what up? What up, Bob? YouTube ain't owned by anybody. You Google? Specific. It's you like Google? Multiple. Well, how do they know to it's like, like delete? Board. It's yeah. connected it's to like, Google though. There, it is. They yeah. have people that probably when it comes in, they watch it. They just have them watch stuff. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Google monitor, and thing. they're like, "This isn't supposed to be here. Delete." Beep beep. Okay, man. I had a weird question. If you can get like, you, like, a, like, a go on tour and shit like that, and you can get like sponsored by like any brand, you know, any brand you want, like Coca Cola presents, you know, Joe Cedarsburg, you know, like super small business. Like, what, what, who would you have like find you? Like, I would get like Trojan. Trojan. Trojan presents. You know, oh. Say you were so fucking badass and everybody wanted you. Would you get your own mascots if you had a Trojan backing? Like <laughs> Trojan probably. man all around you? <laughs> I know. Trojan man or just, just a that, huge con. Isn't that like the worst, oh. the worst name for a con? Or it'd be like Trojan? Trojan? Yeah. No, because they're smart, no? No, I mean, like, what was the whole thing about the, the Trojan, Trojan horse? horse? Yeah, a thing Trojan that horse. that was, you know, bled in somewhere. And the then Trojan horse open. condom is when they poke <laughs> yeah. a hole oh, in yeah, the Trojan yeah. horse. Because yeah. yeah. you're so yeah. famous, dude. So we're going to yeah. get your sperm way in there, and then it's just going to bust through oh, the goodness. tip for you. <laughs> I have an answer, though. I've never thought of this before, but I, I suppose it would be someone with infinite pockets. So, like the u.s government or something you know like sponsored by america you know like coming at you live <laughs> from washington dc by red white and blue yeah fuck up. hell yeah dude <laughs> bald eagles flying out of top awesome. sponsored by obama it's hell just like yeah, man. obama and you uh, back to back <laughs> looking cool uh, that's awesome oh, that's a good answer man. change <laughs> okay um if you were to have your dream tour, like the same thing, like you know, the America presents sponsored by yeah. America, and you can have any any acts backing you up, you know, who would you who would you have? Living or dead? Living or dead? Yeah. Well, you could re Paul Bunyan. Re you Paul could resurrect people. <laughs> yeah, you can you can resurrect people. Wow, it's, it's like it's like Mortal Kombat. Whoever I'm going to choose is going to be like part of my band. Like they'll they'll play for me and then they'll join me while I play. But uh, John Lennon, it's good to be back. Oh, yeah, oh. so we both. Oh, I guess back. maybe. I, I like a lot of like trumpet players and like horn players, dude. Like, like my ideal band would be like fifteen, sixteen people. Jeez. Like a, yeah, big band. Be like, uh, like big band, like da 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 da. But it would be like, like, like a full on CD, cause like, like Modest Mouse never does like four tracks for their like, you know, feature EP. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like twenty tracks at a time. And yeah. for live, you need like twenty people or ten people who have like, you know, like access to you know something that you can press play on and substitute for someone. 
like an eight track or something. So you sort of be like Frank Sinatra with a big old band and shit. But like electro, so, so it wouldn't be like that. It, it wouldn't, wouldn't be like Frank Sinatra. It would be like so. It'd be a, electro, big band, ska. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, like I love like. Is it turning the jazz? So I'm horrible at playing the trombone. No, <laughs> dude. I have a trom- trombone downstairs. Actually, oh, really? I have one up here. Mm-hmm. Used to play it. Yeah, it's you it's a fun it. and intricate instrument to learn. So what's yeah. your what's your answer to that, man? To to uh to, to who? De- living or dead? You living or dead? John Lennon. I would not actually. My Ooh. parents didn't let me listen to the Beatles when I was a kid. Why? Um, because they're like Singing super, super love. Christian. But um, like the one song they did let me listen to was "I Want to Hold Your Hand," and I mean it's just the worst song I've ever heard anyone play. <laughs> and I mean like later on I heard like you know the Come Alberto. Together and I Am the Walrus and stuff, and I learned to appreciate them better. But. uh but yeah, not not John Lennon. Unfortunately, I just didn't have that upbringing. You know, like I just don't feel connected to. My him. parents were like, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> like whatever, dude. Just who, do something. Who would have been modest mouse? Oh, oh, mouse. Everyone who's ever been involved with them, <laughs> just right. on stage with me, and because I imagine they can all play. Like you know, you don't have to tell them. You just say like, go along with it. I would have like the Get Up Kids, Bayside. <laughs> I don't know, maybe less than Jake. How about you, Larry? That I would put in there? Yeah. Oh, man. I wouldn't even know. I would put Michael Jackson Corn. 5. Corn Jackson 5. <laughs> Jackson 5. Jackson 5. Just get them back together. Corn and I would say 5 Michael Jackson. Like three years. So, yeah, that's, well, that's too creepy. <laughs> what, uh, what's your what's your biggest show you've ever you played, man? Tito there to Like, how many out. people? What would you say? The Thunder Drum. <clears throat> the Thunder Drum? Or was it the Thunder Dome? I forget. It was like... Like, they were known as the drummer people, and they had a dome. Like, well, it was a half dome that, uh, like, they, like, had like drum circles in. It's pretty How good. many people did you play for? Um, it was, like, 100 people, something Sweet. like that. That's pretty nice. They were all topless. Uh-huh. And, yeah, they were, like, hula hooping and juggling and drinking, and it was a three-day festival. They were topless. They weren't all pretty. In wow. fact, most of them were like 40 years wow. old and older. He saw titty. <laughs> hey, I don't want to get high five for that. He saw, yeah. I'm the witness. He saw titty. He saw titty. We're all talking to the guy from Tip Job. Remember, he was like, a, still titties. What did he say about that? We were laughing about that. Like, so, how was it? How was that playing that strip club show? He's like, it's pretty, it's pretty sleazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tip Jaw. Yeah, Shout man. out to Tip Jaw. Oh, man. Tip I still got to hear their stuff. I haven't really heard them yet. Should. They played here at Stellar, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, um, yeah. Jeff was talking about it, man. Stellar is, uh, hopefully it'll it'll be home to a lot more local music. We got that back room opening oh, up yeah. with, the, with the nicer weather. She wants to just, like, open up the, the doors. Um, like, you know, it's like a huge opening, mm-hmm. yeah, and it'll be, like, all nice and breezy. You can pack people in and stuff and just yeah. have, like, live music, like, blaring out into the street. And then on the <laughs> other side, like, a coffee shop, and you kind of get some of the noise, but we were, not much. We were talking about uh, trying to find something close to Maine because of the UFO festival. Doing yeah, that's true, because that's going to be coming up in something. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Gonna There's going to be people uh, walking all up and down this yeah. place. Oh, There's stellar. already people coming Oh my coming god, up, man. it's cute because they it's the aliens. Music. They can come yeah. in it's and get some albums. Aliens, they're wearing Roswell. Like that's so dude, cute. Dude, I, that's all you got to do is put a few people out there dressed like aliens. Alien yeah, yeah, dude, just go in there. Just have a free hugs. We need to learn to embrace this. <laughs> like aliens. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like there is a large portion of Japanese girls who come to Roswell expecting to be entertained. In Japanese, have you seen their game shows? They need, like, fucking entertainment, man. Yeah, like. Crazy stimuli. Yeah, like, and, and we're piss poor at it, dude. We're like, ah. Oh, so look at me. Yeah. I'm an alien dude, in my underwear. We're, we're yeah. the people who are going to get on it, man. Like, Jeff and everybody, <laughs> yeah. like, we're trying to work on that shit. Like, just to make it into a thing and then an annual thing and then a bam, 10 year anniversary. We got fucking Godsmack. Hell yeah, man. Because Jeffrey knows the people who God know Godsmack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Jeffrey said, if, if we could sell out like 10,000 tickets. <laughs> yeah. That's what their manager said. <laughs> so sell 2,000 tickets at least. Yeah, Jeff was going to try to play that. 
down here, and then yeah, he was like, no. I'll buy that. Like, I'll buy the tickets. You can't afford that. How much would that cost you out of pocket to buy 2,000 <laughs> tickets? tickets. I, 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 what do they cost? God, Are they $10 nice a piece? Probably like 20 bucks, be... 30 bucks. Oh, shit. That's some math skills. Yeah, so that's some... some... Need <laughs> 40 grand? Shit. Oh, yeah. 44 grand? That's, that's a lot of counting to 10. 40 grand. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do it. Let's just go for a million. I like to call him God <laughs> Snack. God Snack. God Snack. All right, well, thank you for being God on snackers. Super Small Business. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome. 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 Check out the Seller Coffee Shop, man, if you want to say hello to Joe and uh, tell him to send you some songs on his break. Shout outs to uh, Dragon and Rose again. Uh, this has been episode 14 of Don't Westward Sun. Tip. Yes. <laughs> a light on that? Tip the yeah, baristas. Tip the barista. <laughs> to tip everybody. Thank you guys. Uh, I'm Peter West. You got. Oh, this guy here. Larry Signs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to go in order. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Peace. Have fun.